Salt Lake City Comic Con 2017. It's really hard to use my phone with gloves. Here we are, descending into madness. Sunny, are we descending into madness? What? Where are we going? I don't know. <laughs> All right, so I didn't get a whole lot of footage of Comic-Con, like pretty much zero footage. Less footage than what I did of uh, RTX, uh, mainly because I felt a little bit out of my element for a few reasons at this one. At this one, I was with a friend that, uh, like, even though they've done a stream with me before, they're not really super used to me doing vlogs. And it was like, I don't know exactly how comfortable I am filming in public especially when it's not at rtx where like everyone else is doing it because everyone's like a reaction channel that and immediately after stepping in the car to drive to my friend's house to drive her to the train station my pants ripped like like there it is you see london and france is just flying out there so i had a whole bunch of safety pins to <laughs> try to conceal it and I had to use like Joker's you know cape but, like it's not not his cape his jacket to freaking cover the hole like I was feeling exposed like it's already breezy in these pants like I felt naked it just sucked because like I had a lot of a lot of costume maintenance and like I it was like if I took a step up some stairs a safety pin would come undone and I would immediately have to hurdle to a wall and like re-pin that pin and I, I had three pins in there but it was always like a specific one pin just kept coming undone and like I would tell it, it comes undone because it, one it felt like something ripped again two very shortly I feel something small poking me in the leg and it's like Oh, that safety pin came undone. Okay, Sonny, let's go over to that wall. I have a hole. Oh, no. So, yeah, we'd go over there, but it was it was a great time. Like, I met a lot of Ruby fans. Oh, my gosh, there were so many Ruby cosplayers compared to last year. And I was just really sad I didn't cosplay as John. Like, uh, like if Aaron didn't keep my hoodie, I would have totally done John like I would have done John at RTX I would have d done John at this one probably wouldn't have done John at this one I would have still done Joker because I wanted to do him but, like his outfit's freaking amazing there's anime expo next month which is pretty much at the same place so I'm gonna fix up Joker do that again and try to find a replacement hoodie and since it's in October it should be colder so hopefully it will be time for me to just move back to the OG hoodie that I used for John I apologize for not, like, all of the con footage I wanted to do. A lot of it was sabotaged by France. Um, and, like, I really wanted to do some really cool transition-type stuff of, like, reenacting the transition from Persona 5, where he, like, jumps onto screen and then jumps off. I couldn't do that out of fear of my pants just falling apart and, like, oh. Well, I'm gonna try to find, like, a pair of slacks that I could substitute for these that I know will endure the test, because I got plenty of slacks from Ballroom, and they're not too different from this. Like, they're made of the same material. The real main difference is they don't have, like, this little black line detail they do have a crease in the middle of the same spot so it's not too different the other main difference is they go way up the waist and then also like they don't have buttons like this one has buttons instead of zippers uh so anyway guys thank you for watching this video i've had a fun but stressful day and i'll see you guys next time also Shout out to my Patreons, AC Gears and Arms, and Haley Sudarth. Sorry, I stuttered during that name. Uh, I know they were looking forward to footage from Salt Lake City Comic Con, so I just want to be like, sorry again, because I told you on Patreon I would get footage, and then life, aka France, happened. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, guys, bye.